Hi ladies, happy Wednesday. Welcome to Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe. I am Mary from Westerville, Ohio. And um, tonight I'm going to be showing you a number, well, pretty much all of my um, pre-order products. And those pre-order products include things from our um, holiday mini catalog. I can only show you the cover. We're not allowed to show you the inside until August 3rd when this catalog goes live. And then I also have um, our summer celebration products to show you as well. Again, I can only show you front and back of the covers until that begins also on August 3rd. And the summer celebration is for the months of August and September. This is the first time Stampin' Up! has done a second celebration in the same year. So I'm very excited about it. Um, lots of great products in here. Um, and many coordinate with our annual catalog and, uh, or I should say the mini catalog. Um, and there's even something in here that goes nicely um, coordinates perfectly actually with one of our stamp sets in the annual catalog. So as always, we get a lot of mixing and matching, um, coordinating products, um, and I'm really excited to show you. And, um, oh Sally, you're funny, Virgin River season three this Friday. And, oh, I have not forgotten, but remind me on Friday too so I don't forget. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you products I got in my pre-order from the holiday catalog first, and then I will show you the um, summer celebration products I got, and then we're going to have um, a bit of a guessing game, and the two people who win um, will get a sampling of some designer series paper that you can um, do whatever you like with, make whatever you want. I just ask that you show it here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe to inspire other people with what you do. So let's get started. Um, first, I'm gonna show you just some individual stamp sets. You may have seen this one, the candy canes. I did pull the products I got from the incentive trip, um, and this is one of them. And what I love about this, it's a background stamp, so it's not going to be a lot of work, but I plan to make simple Christmas cards with this using the red and green foil, which is a returning favorite from last holiday season. We have Encircled in Warmth, and I love the sentiments. You know me, I love sentiments, sayings, um, I love nice fonts. So this one really appealed to me and I also like it because it coordinates with, and I don't remember the name of it, um, and I haven't even ordered them yet, the dies, um, they're circular dies that look like kind of like doilies and kind of fancy lacy from the annual catalog. Um, so I really think I'm going to love working with that once I get those other dies. This is another one, Heartfelt Wishes, that I got from the Maui Incentive Trip. Again, just really nice basic sentiments in pretty font to use on all the Christmas cards. Okay, I like to show these two stamp sets together. The Be Jolly and the Holly Jolly Wishes. Be Jolly, whoops. Um, Be Jolly is fun for making cards for little ones, making cards with little ones. I also think a fun activity to do with this would be maybe to make some gift tags and let the kids color uh, in this, but uh, certainly if you're a big kid and like to color, it's good for you too. And then of course the um, sayings and the fonts in here are just fun and jolly. This one is Little Delights. And I typically don't buy a lot of stamp sets that cover various um, holidays, I guess. 
I guess I'm thinking I always like to focus on a bundle or a suite or one particular stamp set that maybe has a particular theme. But this one really appealed to me because I thought it would be fun um, for using with like little gifts and gift cards, um, treats, favors, things like that. Okay, this one is super um, pretty. It's at the very beginning of our holiday catalog, Strong of Heart. Um, I'll get it close so you can see some of the sentiments in there. So it's a great set for encouragement. Um, of course, expressions of love, anniversaries, um, engagements, weddings, Valentines, all kinds of things. And as soon as I saw this in the holiday catalog, I knew I had to have it. And I cannot wait. Um, I have an occasion coming up that I'm going to use this for real soon. Um, so I'll show that to you and tell you about it afterwards. But this one is also a fundraising stamp. And let me turn to it really fast because I already forgot the... Okay, this is our Make a Difference stamp. Join us in making a difference. For each Strong of Heart stamp set purchased, we will donate $3 to support heart health. Um, and heart health is something that's important to me, um, having dealt with very high blood pressure over the last few years. Knock on wood, I finally have it in control and I'm down to just six month appointments with my doctor and um, my blood pressure's been really good, but it's also made me very, very aware of the fact how easy it is to ignore heart health um, so, you know, I'm back to walking, trying to eat better, sleep more, but um, certainly that's a great, um, a great cause to, for Stampin' Up! and all of us to be donating to. Um, thinking thanks and peace. I love this. And my favorite is definitely the peace on earth. Um, I picture that it using that for a very simple, elegant Christmas card. Of course, sending thanks, use it with or without the wheat image, um, just for ordinary thank you cards or for um, Thanksgiving. The thinking of you, always handy, and boo. Isn't that cute, that little boo? Plus, it's fun to have some um, large, larger sentiments that fill up a card front and such. Okay, let's jump on over. And I know I'm going through this really quickly. Um, I did this last night with my team. Every Tuesday, we have a Facebook Live that usually runs about 20 to 30 minutes, just called Touch Base Tuesday. Um, a chance to share information with my team, answer questions they have, concerns, um, offer some help, things like that. My delivery came literally like 20, 25 minutes before that started yesterday. So I was hustling to sort through it. I had class things in there, actually two class things, bingo event. I had quite a mess up here, but I was getting ready to take it downstairs this afternoon. And I thought, you know what? You guys need to see it too. But again, this is not everything. I do not buy everything. <laughs> Some people are fooled thinking I do. I don't. Um, this probably isn't even half, maybe half. I doubt it. Um, so lots and lots of good things, something to appeal to everybody. Angels of Peace. This, I think, is one of the prettiest angel sets we have ever had. Um, Angels, the angel sets, they aren't always the first go-to for me, but I knew I had to have one. And look at this little girl angel. Is that not precious? So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about this coordinating product as well. Mary Melody 3D embossing folder. It's music notes. Um, and I can't wait to use this. Okay, the next bundle I have here is Gorgeous Leaves. It is a pretty 
fall leafy stamp set with a really nice um, set of coordinating dies. The next bundle I have is, oh, I should have opened up this other package. Um, the next bundle I have is actually a three-parter and it starts with the Merriest Moments stamp set. Um, pretty traditional images and um, sentiments in there. And then it coordinates with the Merriest Frames hybrid embossing folders. So what that means is there is an embossing folder. There are, let me just open this for you. I thought I had them all out of their package. Um, oh, this is this wonderful die set. You can use the stamp set, the embossing folder, and the dies all separately, or you can combine them. You can combine the dies and the embossing folder so that you are embossing and cutting at the same time. And that's how um, hybrid is defined. The hybrid what was it? Merriest Frames Hybrid Embossing Folder. That means you can put the die inside of the folder and it will die cut and emboss at the same time. Super cool. We have one of those in the annual catalog too, one of those um, hybrid embossing folders. And mine just also came in an order today. Um, can't think of the name of it, but it's flowers and it's really pretty. And I'm going to um, try that out real soon and do a Facebook Live with it as well. Okay, how about, here's some more bundles. Happy Holly Days. And there's this pretty Holly um, border punch and then the Happy Holly Days stamp set. I love this bird and I love the holly. Of course, really traditional um, sentiments in there for the holidays. And I think this would be a great set to do some watercoloring with using Stampin' Blends, even our watercolor markers and blending pens. But I really want to try it with the no line watercolor technique. So I look for that in a a uh, Facebook Live sometime in the future. I've got all these ideas and trying to figure out how I'm putting them on my calendar. Penguin Place, is this not cute or what? As soon as I saw this, and really it's the samples of this bundle in the catalog that drew me to it. Um, but it's just really fun and playful and um, just, it's fabulous. So if you're a penguin lover, like my friend Tracy is, that one is for you. Okay, do you remember in the past we had reindeer dies that were very popular? We also had a moose punch that in the last couple of years that was also very popular. I think if you love those, you're going to love this, I think the Peaceful Deer stamp set with the Deer Builder Punch. I think it's called Deer Builder, I don't know. Um, it takes me a while to learn all the new names, um, but just really fun. And the punch cuts out, um, and these pictures here are only 80%. They are not the full 100% in, in terms of size. But there are two, the running deer. This one says, oh, what fun. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, what fun. And then this one. And it punches out both of those. And then there's other deer and trees and sweet uh, sentiments in there. Okay, so that is the single stamp sets, the bundles I have. Now let's do some sweets. Boy, there's so many of you on here. Thanks for being here and thanks for sharing. Um, I just realized I forgot to share 
I'm going to do that really quick. And if you would do the same, I would appreciate it so much. That allows um, more people to know that I'm online and for more people to um, uh, see me live and to bring some new people to my site as well. And you'll have to forgive me if I don't know the names of everything just yet. The Harvest Meadow um, Sweet. I chose to get this because every year we have really nice fall um, sweets, stamp sets, paper, all that. And I haven't bought any new ones in probably the last year or two because ones I had had been carried over. Well, now all those have retired. So, um, so I wanted to pick out something fun for fall, but something I might use throughout the year as well. So um, I got this sweet. So I'll just show you some of the papers real quick. So there's the front, the back. This one's neat. I don't, can you see that? It's got real tiny script on it. And I just really like the tone on tone look of these. And just really nice colors. So you can see that even though it's probably marketed as a fall um, DSP, it really is something that you can use year round. And that's what I love. Things that are versatile, um, that I can use well beyond their intended purpose. Now this curiosity just got the best of me. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. But this is a cork specialty paper. It comes, um, there's two sheets in the package. You can see the back side is just kind of a thin craft paper. It's very, very thin. It is paper thin, but it feels like cork. It looks like cork and it feels like cork. How they made that happen, I have no idea. Um, again, I can see using it for autumn projects, but I also think it would be neat for um, masculine cards. I think if you have um, like a wine theme, that could go with it as well. There's a pretty crocheted ribbon. Now these are nice. Brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. And they come in three colors two different sizes. One is gold, one's coppery, and the other one is sort of a, oh, I don't know if I would, I don't know what I would call it. It's almost like a greenish pewter color. And then of course, we've got a fun bundle, Nature's Harvest. And I have to say, um, last year, I got like a dollar plant clearance at Home Depot. Didn't really know what it was, but it's a purple coneflower and it looks beautiful this year and I just replanted it. So it's awesome. So this made me think of that as well. So really nice bundle. And then finally the time-worn type 3D embossing folder. So that's that bundle. Here is a Halloween bundle. Um, two parts of this I got on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. And um, I think they were prizes I got each day. But just really fun um, Halloween theme patterns, prints, colors. It's kind of hard to show you this. I love that orange and black stripe. Look at these little haunted houses. Too fun, okay? And there's this awesome black and white gingham ribbon. It's probably like, I think it's a quarter inch wide. Yes, quarter inch wide. But picture this coloring it with your Stampin' Blends also. It doesn't have to be just black and white. It could be red and black. It could be orange and black. It can be whatever you want, 
when you customize it with your Stampin' Blends. Then we have this fun bundle, Cutest Halloween, the stamp set and the punch. And some of these punch out um, images from a few pages of the designer series paper. So not only can you use it with the stamp set, but it works well with that designer series paper I showed you. Um, there are these fun star embellishments. You see those? In three colors, two sizes. And then, I haven't put one of these together, but it's the Tombstone Treat Box. <laughs> last year, was it last year or the year before, we had the Coffin Treat Boxes. This year, we're getting the Tombstone Treat Boxes. Um, and of course, there are other holiday um, sweets, bundles, stamp sets in the catalog as well. But that's the one I got. And then we've got some Christmas bundle or four Christmas sweets that I purchased. The first one is, sorry, I've got everything rubber banded here. The first one is the gingerbread and peppermint sweet. And it comes with the frosted gingerbread stamp set and the coordinating dies. I love it. And you know, when I was looking at these dies and even the stamps, yes, I can make gingerbread cookies, um, fake gingerbread cookies with these, but they can just be ornaments and bells and snowflakes. It doesn't have to go with the gingerbread theme. Or I should say it does the gingerbread theme and goes way beyond that. There is also this pretty pillow box die. And in the past, we've had um, pillow boxes that you cut two pieces and had to put them together. This is all one piece, plus it has a really fun scallop um, flap to it. Joyce, I knew you would like the gingerbread, my baker friend. I know you usually do cakes, but I also know that you and your grandchildren make those incredible gingerbread houses every year. Joyce has some great traditions with her grandchildren. And someday when I get to be a grandma, I hate, hope to um, develop some fun traditions like she has. Then there is the gingerbread and peppermint paper, six by six. Let me do it this way. There's just so many in here, it's hard to show you. And of course, some of the dies will cut out some of these different, oh, and the candies, will cut out some of those different images. And then the back side has all these just fun um, patterns in the traditional Christmas colors of red, green, white. And then lastly, we have some six by six, six by six craft paper. And this will be fun to stamp and even do some white heat embossing on to make the gingerbread cookies. And also in this suite, we have a set of decorative masks one and again some of these you'll want to use year-round don't limit yourself to the holiday oops these are a little delicate they can easily stick together all right and then lastly these are a little hard to show but they are gingerbread and peppermint acrylic shapes. And I would say they're probably like a 16th of an inch thick, but just um, a fun little shapes that you could use to decorate gingerbread cookies and gingerbread houses. I'm trying to pick up a few. And they're in red and white. 
And there's various ones in there, various shapes. Kind of like those filigree type shapes that you would see on some fancy gingerbread cookies. And, okay, here's another Christmas sweet or holiday sweet. This is one I call one of those um, super sweets, uh, the mega sweet, because it has two bundles. It's got the Christmas to remember bundle and it's got some nice dies to go with that. And these dies are actually kind of like background dies um, with pine and pine cones, things like that. And then we've got the Christmas season, some traditional pine cones, holly and such, and the seasonal labels dies. So a lot of these, yes, you'll use them seasonally to go with the stamp set, but there are several that you can use, again, throughout the year for lots of other sentiments and images. We've got this beautiful paper, um, and this is one of those that was um, actually hand-painted by a, one of the Stampin' Up! artists, and then um, they photograph that and then make the DSP, print the DSP from the actual photographs of the artwork. But you can see kind of traditional, but elegant, pretty. There's the back side. I think that's pretty neat. And then there's a few in here that you would use throughout the year well beyond the holidays. That leafy print, those reds, um, even that one. Wouldn't that be a fun celebration paper, that the shades of red there? And also in that suite, there are these gold holly leaves, just like this. They come in two sizes. That was the large one. Let me see if I can grab a small one. So you, oops. Well, now I'm dropping them. So here's a large and a small. So you can see about, about the size of the end of my finger, but they're thin. They're really thin. I thought they might be kind of puffy, but they are thin like paper. So they will be great to embellish your cards and scrapbook pages with, without creating that bulk that we try to um, avoid in some of our cards and other paper crafts, especially when we're mailing cards or mailing a lot of them. Um, okay, now you probably all know by now, maybe I haven't said it in a long time though, Cherry Cobbler is my all time favorite red. I love our real red, but there's just something about the rich color Cherry Cobbler. Look at this ribbon. It's a half inch wide ribbon and it's cherry cobbler with gold woven throughout it. So it's really shimmery. It is thin, so it will be easy to tie bows. Loving that. Okay. The whimsical tree. I don't even know what this is called. Whimsy and Wonder Suite, I think, is the name of the suite. Whimsy and, Whimsy and Wonder. So in this, there are some rather traditional holiday themes, but some untraditional or non-traditional colors, um, especially with that blushing bride and um, I think it's polished pink. Let me see. Yes, it's polished pink, mint macaron, Blushing Bride, Crumb Cake, and Misty Moonlight, and Mossy Meadow. So instead of reds and greens, we've got some um, blues, we've got pinks, and we've got, look at this fun iridescent metallic stripe. Look at this. Oh, wait, I have these mixed up. So this is the back of that. Aren't these ornaments lovely? And then look at the back side. How pretty with that against 
the misty moonlight. Look at these presents. So just simple but elegant. And look at this print, the holly with the pink berries. Um, here's a really pretty print. I'm thinking this would be nice for a piece of wall decor or um, scrapbook pages. And look at the back side. I'm trying to see it. The color's not really good with this lighting. Let's see those together. More holly, and this is kind of etched with a gold, or maybe it's silver foil. I guess it's I guess it's silver. And that on the back. And of course, this is one you can use all year round. Look at these snowflakes against the pink. Oh, I love it. Metallic snowflakes against the pink and a beautiful stripe. Again, something um, that you can use throughout the year. And this is the bundle that goes with that. The, I think I just dropped something, I'm not sure. The Whimsical Trees stamp set and dies. But you can see, so it's got kind of a traditional theme, but um, more whimsical in the trees. A pretty frayed grow green ribbon and blushing bride and of course this would be something that I would use for all kinds of things birthday cards baby cards um, weddings thinking of you showers Valentine's Day on and on um, yes Joyce I'm like you I love those specialty designer series papers the ones that have the shine and shimmer and look so elegant now these are wonderful snowflakes. I'm gonna pull out, just see if I can pull out one sheet. They're very, very thin and nice and delicate, but all you have to do is punch them out gently. I don't know that I trust myself doing this live, but they do punch out very easily. So there's one. So you can see it in terms of, you know, a little smaller than my palm, but it has, um, it's white with like an iridescent shine on one side. I think it's hard to see on here, but very pretty. You get 24 of those in a package. So a few dollars goes a long way with that. And I have one more suite to show you before I get to the celebration items. Now, I got this package of D designer series paper. It's called Sweet Stockings DSP. I got this when I was on the Maui incentive trip. I did not open it. I just showed people this, the front. And I can't tell you how many people messaged me. I got to have it. I have to have that. I need that paper. Um, so I think this is one, of course, you know, they're all kind of popular. I mean, I don't know if we've ever sold something that just didn't go over well. I'm sure we did at some time, but I can't think of anything offhand. I guess I feel like we have something for everybody. So um, we have lots of good sellers because we appeal to people who have lots of different interests. But if you're a dog and cat lover, you are going to love this. Is that, is it a golden retriever? I don't even know, but he is so stinking cute. So that's the front. Here's the back. Look at these dogs, cats, mice. What else is in there? I think that's everything. And the stockings, cute, huh? And a fun pattern on the back. These are all cats, I believe. Is that black one a cat or is it a dog? I think it's a cat. I guess it could be whatever you want it to be. Maybe it is a dog, I don't know. 
and then this on the back. I love that. Cherry cobbler, my favorite color, my favorite red, I should say, my favorite red. Look at these stockings. And look at this on the back. I would even use this for Halloween cards, the um, yellow orange stars on the black background. Here's some cat's dog and fish. Pretty diagonal stripe there. Lots of holiday lights and a fun pool party um, plaid. I think that would make a cute um, baby card for a little boy as well. All right, so that is, what did I say it was called? Sweet Stockings. I keep thinking it's gonna have a pet name, but it's Sweet Stockings DSP. There is a set of Jolly Felt. Comes like this. I believe that's six by 12 pieces. And you get one each of the different felt pieces. Not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I wanted to see those colors. And then there are these um, matte decorative dots. Four colors, three sizes. Um, and I don't, I don't know how well you can see this, but can you see they go from kind of like ombre. Um, so darker in color to lighter in color. So that's fun. Here is a pool party striped grosgrain ribbon. Again, something you can use for birthday cards, um, baby boys, thinking of you, whatever. Super versatile. Um, and think about that when you're purchasing, when you're looking through catalogs and purchasing products. Think about um, other ways that you might use these things because you might not be interested in that suite, but you might be very interested in the embellishments and the ribbon. So I love that about our Stampin' Up! products that um, they're just, I can't say it enough. We are so, we have such versatile products. Um, and really the imagination and creativity of demonstrators and stampers and paper crafters around the world always amazes me. Sometimes I look at a stamp set or other product and I think, you know, it just doesn't appeal to me. I'm sure it does to somebody, but not to me. Or I think, you know, what would I ever do with that? And then sure enough, the, um, you know, some people buy it and they start showing their projects and I'm like, wow. Um, so I'm always, I, I, that's the fun part of this job and this craft and having social media is that we get to share all that. And finally, this is the bundle that goes with that suite. I love this piece in here and I love the stockings, but look at this piece right here, this die. Wouldn't that be fun for just making some cute tag, gift tags? Use it this direction as a gift tag. Turn it this way and you can use it to make little banners. You know, Merry Christmas, um, Noel, even Happy Birthday, Welcome, Home, anything. But I just think that would be a, a fun die to make um, little banners to hang up. Or even to put in scrapbook pages. That would be fun. Maybe do some titles on there. Okay, next I'm going to show you products that are, are um, our, from our summer celebration brochure. Um, and I do have to look it up because there are three, I'm thinking it might be the papers, but I could be wrong. Um, I do have to look it up because I know that there are three items in that celebration brochure that are only available while supplies last, but I'll make sure to get that information out to everybody before August 3rd when our um, two month celebration starts. It will start August 3rd and go through September 30th. Textures and frames. This is one of those that I look at this and I think, I don't know what to do with this. 
but I had enough um, purchases that I could get one of each of the celebration products and I thought I gotta get get it and somebody lots of people I know are gonna come up with awesome projects for this feels like home now my first thought when I saw this was oh a lot of coloring some people like it some people don't and then I thought why do we have to color it or why do we have to color all of that I think it could be very beautiful without coloring it or just adding tiny bits of color but of course for those who love to color I'm sure they'll color all of it and it will be beautiful too delicate dahlias we always have wonderful flower sets and I love when we get those um, individual types of flowers this I think if what was it last year or in the early in the year the donkeys remember and again I thought oh donkeys I don't know I loved them when I got them and worked with them and saw other people using them I loved those donkeys the darling donkeys well this time around we've got counting sheep counting sheep and this is one celebration item and this is another celebration item it has these dies you know what the dies might be one of the things that is while well, supplies last I really have to check that out because I can't remember now this will be a host set in your words I feel like this was kind of made for me um, let's see here there is magic in every beginning a wedding a new job perhaps a graduation um, I love this one perhaps the stars are openings where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy how is that for um, somebody who's grieving I see you and you are wonderful hope this card makes you smile and there's more in there but this is a host set for celebration so I believe if you have $300 in sales or you have a workshop or a party and accumulate $300 in sales, you will automatically get this. This Summer Shadows Dies. This is one that coordinates, and I think it's called Summer Shadows Stamp Set from the annual catalog, but they threw in a die set to coordinate with one of our annual catalog products. Now also in, oh, the last thing I have to show you is um, also in celebration, we have options of designer series paper and even a specialty paper as our choice for a free item. Um, and all the items are free for celebration are free with a $50 order. There's a few that are free with a $100 order. These are not things that you can buy. What's in celebration, you cannot buy. Um, you get them free with a purchase from things from our annual catalog and or holiday catalog and or um, clearance rack and or paper pumpkin prepaid subscriptions. So there's a lot of ways that you can come up with the 50 or $100 and then get these free. But the first one, oh, while I'm doing this, while I'm showing you the paper, what I'm going to ask you to guess on is that there are two bundles. So think back to the bundles I used, either stamp sets and dies or stamp sets and punches. I opened up two of them today and worked with them. You don't have to remember the name exactly. They will be easy ones to identify, but the first person to guess, um, there's two. First person to guess the first one will get a small prize. The second person to guess the second bundle I use today will also get a prize, okay? Oh, Joyce, I love that. Yes, you all need to have an online party to get that hose set. Yes, that would just be a wonderful thing for you, for me, for all of us. Um, and then we'd have to have a free class so everybody that got that, what's it, what's it called, in your words, host stamp set, could make some, have some fun making that. Okay, so be thinking about those bundles. 
not sweets, bundles, okay? And you can guess anytime you want. And I will go back and look in the first ones that name them. Okay, look at this paper. I don't even know what it's called. Be dazzling. Be dazzling paper. This is so interesting. First of all, it's six by six. It does not rub off. I think there's eight sheets in the package. It does not rub off at all. Nothing. There's nothing on my table, nothing on the floor, nothing on me. And I don't know how well you can see this, but it's not actually glitter. It's sort of like sequins or what I think of as like mermaid skin. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. You really have to see it, but it is bedazzling. So that's one of those free choices. The beautifully penned designer series paper. I love this. It's all black and white. And it coordinates with our hand penned designer series paper and suite in the annual catalog. There are 12 sheets in the package and you get, um, there's three different ones, so you get four of each. So it's great if you're trying to make a bunch of cards all the same. This is a great one for that. Um, also great for coloring with our Stampin' Blends. So again, what is that called? Beautifully penned. It's all black and white. Now this one I love, Peaceful Prints. Look at this. And do you know what this goes with? Peaceful Prints, something I showed you already. Oops. So this is like um, a tree, like the river birch trees. This is interesting because it's the same plaid with real red and cherry cobbler, but on one side it has the snowflakes and one side without. Here's another with the trees on one side and the little dots on the opposite side. Kind of looks like snow. And this is snowflakes. And on the back side, I don't know if I would call this chevron or if I would call it pine sprigs. Kind of a combination of the two. And then this I think is so pretty and elegant. I have an idea for this, but I haven't made anything with this sheet of paper yet. And then the last one, so did you figure it out which this um, coordinates with? And then the last thing to show you is the Penguin Playmates designer series paper. How fun is this? And you can guess, what does this coordinate with? back there's these little trees look at all those fun penguins and polar bears and foxes what's here snowmen penguins more foxes Okay, when I started, I had too much light. It was too bright, so I turned off my overhead and left the other two on. But now it's starting to get dark outside, so I'm like, oh, the lighting's not working so much anymore. But we're almost finished. Look at that. With Fresh Freesia, one of our new in colors. And here's the last one. Isn't that fun? Okay, so has anybody guessed? Yes, the penguins, uh, that, yeah, so adorable. Penguin playmates, so adorable. And you know what I found too? Um, if you look closely at first, cause I oftentimes will cut up designer series paper, but our penguin punch will cut out this penguin. But then as far as the fox and the polar bear go, 
those are very, very easy to cut out. Um, this penguin is very easy to cut out. The punch doesn't work with it, but it's very easy to cut out. So it, they look, and these are all easy to cut out. So even though the punch doesn't cut out all of those penguin playmates, it cuts out several, and then the rest are real easy um, to fussy cut. And, and I wouldn't tell you they're easy to cut if I didn't believe they are, okay? So my question to you, Sharon, I'm glad you like those. Um, my question to you was, and I'm looking for the first ones to name the two bundles that I worked with today. Um, let's see here. Art in Bloom. Oh, Melinda, thank you. That is the other, that's the... Um, hybrid the bundle that has the hybrid embossing folder that i talked about from the annual catalog i love it when there's demonstrators watching that help me out with the names and things like that the penguin punch this is a question the penguin punch um oh what does it cut out i know what you're asking okay so here's the actual penguin stamp you can stamp this. It'll stamp black on white, and then you punch it out with this one. Here it is, this direction. Or you can punch this shape, no stamping, punch this shape, I'll turn it this way, this shape from black cardstock, okay, that one, and you punch this one from white, and it fits on top of that one, so you get the black and white penguin. And then it's got the other pieces that you can stamp on. You can also um, punch his little feet. I like, um, you know, any kind of yellow or orange for the little feet. So that's, who asked that? Julie Williamson. So that's what it is. It's a two-part penguin builder punch. Punch black, punch white, and layer the white on top of the black, and you're going to get basically something like this. You just, you get that without stamping. And then you can add the eyes and feet, etc. Good, good question. Um, somebody else said, what does some penguin punch out? Yes, like the tuxedo, the penguin outline and the tuxedo. Melinda, thank you for sharing. Hi, Joyce Puglia. Hello, Shannon Mills, Judy Armstrong. Oh, lots of people I haven't, um, some I've seen quite frequently and others that um, haven't seen for a while. Kathy Sheely from the lake. <laughs> Kathy Sheely is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Westerville. And she reached out to me probably actually just before the pandemic we met for dinner she reached out to me told me she was a stampin up demonstrator had seen me online and she also lives in westerville so we had met for dinner i think within the next week or two everything shut down and she just invited me to have dinner with her recently so we had a, a really nice evening together dinner sharing um, i really enjoy her company <laughs> joyce Joyce Wilhelm, you make me laugh. We can see your creative wheels turning. Yes, I, yeah, I lose sleep. It's terrible. I lose sweet sleep when I get new product. Marty's on. Okay, well, I'm looking for the winners. Oh, Melinda Bevins. Blevins. Melinda Blevins, you are the first winner. I did use the penguin bundle and I used it um, use some of the playful penguins designer series paper I'm going to show you one of the cards I made and here it is here isn't that cute so that's one so you are a winner and you win a sample of the Penguin Playmates Designer Series Paper. Again, this is something that you can get free during celebration, but I'm gonna send you a sample of each of these 
early and I want you to create something to share with all of us. And hi, Bonnie O'Neill. If I miss saying hello to you, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to keep everything going here. And the other winner is, oh, Amy Go, right underneath. The deer one, yes. I used the Peaceful Deer Bundle along with that Deer Designer Series paper to make this card. I even put a little something inside. So I used the bundle and some of the paper and Amy Go, you will get a sampling of that, I don't know what it's called, designer series paper, the Dear Designer Series paper. I'm gonna send you these, um, and I ask that you too make something. You don't have to use it all. You can if you want, you can make one thing, you can make lots of things. I just ask Amy and Melinda that you make something and you share it here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe. Um, and recently, oh, and I can't think of her name offhand, I just lost it. Um, mm, I can't think of her name. But when I did the center easel fold card with the peach suite, um, I gave away a sampling of designer series paper and um, the woman who won that, received that, just in the last couple days put on two cards that she made. Um, one with the peach paper samples that I sent her and um, the other, I think she was using the berry sweet, strawberry sweet. But she did a really cool alternative of my center easel card. I had the center raised and the sides flat, she did the opposite. The center is flat and the two sides are raised as easels. So really cool, check it out. Um, I'll try to um, pull up the post and maybe put it at the top of the um, um, Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe Facebook page so everybody can see it because it's, it's really fun. Um, but something, she did something I never even thought of. So I love how my idea inspired her, but she was able to make something new and different with it. So I'm gonna to have to give that a try as well. All right, thanks very much. I'm gonna scroll through this really quickly and see if there were any questions that I missed. Joyce Wilhelm says, so glad I remembered to watch tonight, Mary. Great unboxing live, loved it all. And I love all of you guys. All the new stuff and good friends, crafting, stamping friends. I think I answered all the questions. So thank you for being with me. I know um, I've gone a little long tonight, but I get really excited. <laughs> about new product and I get even more excited about sharing new product. And um, I will send out the paper samples to the two winners. And again, I'll just hold up a, the cards, a couple of the cards I made today using the Penguin set and the Peaceful Deer set. All right, everybody, have a good night. Um, if you love Virgin River, River, be sure to watch on Netflix for season three starting Friday. Um, I love being able to share those kinds of things with all of you too. Um, have a good night. I'll see you soon.